Before I throw it together, I thought I'd give you a quick explanation of some of the parts. We have our engine bed, crank, flywheel. Um, that's a one-piece connecting rod that I've made. That's quite a... There's a few hours into that little bloke there. And quite pleased with the machine work. It's good to get back on the, on the tools. Steam chest, uh, cylinder cover slide valve that goes in the steam chest in there somehow uh, this is our slipper centric this will turn around and dictate when the steam goes into the different size of the cylinders we've got our crosshead this supports everything and these are our trunk guides and then we have our engine plate cylinder piston rod no pistons yet um, so you get the general idea Now I've set the valve events. It's very similar to a car, except for obviously it's not a, um, a combustion engine. It's combustion sources elsewhere, being steam. So I've set the ports. There's little ports in there that emit steam to either the top or the bottom of the cylinder, pushing the piston up and down. That then turns around and changes the force into a reciprocating force, which spins everything around and this little cam here is very similar to the camshaft that you might find on your um, on your car and instead of it opening and closing an inlet and an exhaust valve it is opening and closing the ports to steam pressure and in the centre we have exhaust so when it pushes the steam out it comes down through the valve and out to exhaust so I've set the timing and um, the events of the valve are now set so regardless of the direction the valve will open the port in according to the direction that the crank is spun it's called a slip eccentric so it, it, it turns nearly 120 degrees or so before it actually kicks up the eccentric and starts moving it um, the final final assembly everything's nice and complete um, obviously I've still got a bit of detail that I need to get into but I think it's time to button up the chest the, or the, the steam chest here put the cover on the top of the cylinder hook it up to the compressor and see what it does So I've now got the airline hooked up, it's time to turn the compressor on and uh, see how this little engine performs.
Well, you can't complain about that. So what I can do is I can spin it in either direction. So if I turn it this way, then it will run in reverse. If I stop it and turn it the other way, the slip is centric, it will allow it to run in the other direction. I think it's a win. Take it to see Mr. Medlock.